This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org forward slash donate. For as little as $10 a month, you can help people find life-changing guidance. How can we take the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as an example, you should say. Um, uh, so let's look at the actual question what the person said. So he said that, um, Assalamu alaikum, a friend of my, uh, a friend asked me how we can take the Prophet Muhammad, Allah bless him and give him peace, as a role model when we know that his heart was cleaned by the angel Jibra'il. Uh, additionally, we know that he cannot commit sin. So how can we consider him as a role model when in reality there is no match? So it's a very interesting question. So, um, so the first thing to know is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him as a qudwa, as someone for us to follow. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا Indeed, Allah says, by God, there has always been in the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa a tremendous, huge, beautiful uh, exemplar uh, for you, uh, so you can follow him. So the person is wanting to know, his heart was washed, ours wasn't. What happened when his heart was washed? Um, the the muscle of flesh which shaitan usually uses to you know whisper into people's heart that was removed right he had a devil following him and uh, by the grace of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that shaitan accepted islam so instead of inspiring him with bad he inspired him with good and and then um yes the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam also was sinless so does so how does this work so firstly let, let's look at it from this perspective the prophet came sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he gave us a set of instructions do this uh you'll go to paradise and do this um you know you, you'll increase in closeness to allah and these other things avoid them shun them because they lead you to the hellfire so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam <clears throat> he was also a human being yes He's divinely protected from committing sins but we can see that in the situations he was placed in he made choices and we also have choices so you can choose to do this and or you can choose to go the other way when it comes to something haram you have a choice you can either choose to you know succumb to it or choose not to right so we too have a choice the struggle for us is you know um, uh, is different right so even if you fall into a sin, how can you follow the Prophet, right? Well, the first thing you can do to follow the Prophet, if you're talking about sins and falling into sins, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for forgiveness more than a hundred times a day. And sometimes in Arabic, the word a hundred can mean like a large amount. Like when, you, when we say, I've told you a million times, you know. So, but more than a hundred times a day, he would ask for forgiveness. And it wasn't just a rote, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. It was every every one of those times, you know, like the deepest tawbah you've ever made. It was like that, turning back to Allah completely and fully. And what was he making tawbah from, sallallahu alaihi wasallam? There were no sins, but he was making tawbah because he was constantly rising in his rank and he was drawing closer to Allah every moment. And so he would feel that the standard of worship that even though it's beyond our imaginations in the but the standard at which he was worshiping allah in those moments that had passed because he was ascending wasn't good enough so he would ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness for that and he'd keep increasing so he'd keep asking for forgiveness so our lesson from that is that our standard of worship if it's not good enough and you know look at all the gifts allah gives us and look at you know our broken you know worship right so you ask allah forget for forgiveness for that if you fall into a sin right you imitate the prophet you you, you know and you ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness so when it comes to bad things um and sins this is how you follow the prophet through tawbah and istighfar turning back to allah if it's through good things you look at the the deeds of the prophet and how you know he, his state was full of gratitude he was praying tahajjud until his feet you know this this follow up 
And in two narrations, Aisha or Bilal, but Aisha said, Ya Rasulullah, like, why are you doing this? And Allah's forgiven all of your past and future missteps, right? And he said, Afala akuna abdan shakura, shall I not then be a grateful slave? So this is how you follow the Prophet. You look at the way the Prophet ﷺ talked to people. He was gentle, he was kind, he smiled, right? He called them by the names that they loved the most, right? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He would, you know, joke with people, he, he would give gifts. Tahadu, tahadu tahabu. Give gifts and you love each other. Zur ghibban, tasdad hubban. You know, he said, visit people every so often, not every day, not constantly. And you'll increase in love because absence makes the heart grow fonder, as they say, right? And, you know, so this is, so if you want to follow, it's, it's very simple. Don't look at his perfections unless you're looking at them as how can I aspire to be like that in a manner that's, you know, becoming of me, right? As a human being, as a believer, how can I aspire to a high state, in a, you know, without obviously trying to be, uh, you can't be sinless, right? Allah can protect people from sins, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org forward slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.